the Flower Carnival and or the Flower Parade. Um, started here in 1893. We have a photo from the, the very first, and this is the first prize winners. Um, started here as a, a way for people to show off community pride, also to celebrate and uh, what we would call boosterism, um, a way of boosting your local community um, by showing how well things grew here. And you have to ask, well, why do you have to show that? Well, because we live in a semi-arid climate where hardly anything would grow um, of its own volition. Um, and so what they were doing was using the flower parade to uh, to boost the idea of Colorado Springs as a as a, 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 a lively, um, a, a productive place for people to move to, and it was um, uh, just a way for people to take cuttings out of their gardens uh, toward the end of the summer, uh, decorate um, horse-drawn carriages or what have you, um, and then parade them up and down downtown. Um, and they gave out prizes um, for people who participated. This is from uh, the second year show, 1894, and this is an interesting photograph of a um, kind of a dandy couple. Um, and the interesting thing is, is that you see two of our community leaders in this shot. Uh, that's Spencer Penrose sitting with his um, uh, facing uh, us, and then in the front seat driving is uh, Charlie Tut. Hmm. Um, both of whom would go on to make their um, millions in uh, Cripple Creek mining and later on in um, uh, processing copper ore in Utah. And of course, today we know them for the um, El Pomar Foundation. It was a very elaborate, very, um, um, well, for instance, let me give you some examples. Um, in the first parade, there were 35 trimmed bicycles. Um, in the parade. Um, 41 horse-drawn carriages, 24 um, riders on horseback that had decorated their horses. And then according to this, and this is what I would pay money to find an image of, um, several dog and horse carts that had, uh, horse-drawn carts that had been, excuse me, dog and goat drawn carts that had been decorated um, for the parade. So it was just kind of a smorgasbord of, of, of people and vehicles that have been decorated. Um, some of the images we have here um, show kind of ethnic themes. We've got from 1894 um, um, people dressed up as if they're in a rickshaw somewhere in China. Um, here is the Colorado College cart from, what year is this? Doesn't have a year on it. Um, very elaborate, very large um, four-wheel carriage um, and several people riding inside of it but the thing I love most about it is if you look closely you'll see burrows eating some of the greenery. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a man dressed up as a uh, English, a London um, uh, fruit and vegetable peddler and he's dressed up looking like he's Irish. Uh, the caption on this card says that he had this outfit specially made for the occasion and it was imported. So we went to a barred no expense. Um, <clears throat> and so this was an annual event beginning in 1893 and really lasted for a decade until, you know, I think the interest in it began to wane and they reinvented. Um, and this is the great thing that Colorado Springs does so often is they reinvent themselves and reinvented themselves in uh, 19, <coughs> excuse me, 1912 as something called the Sean Keedy, which was more a Western-themed uh, parade in which they would invite um, American Indian people and rodeo uh, riders and cowboys into town and parade up and down um, the street as they had for the flower, for flower carnival. We're going from, we're moving from this idea of being a, a Western resort community, kind of a, a very effete uh, community to more connected to our Wild West roots. Um, here we've got an image, um, also not very culturally sensitive, but of a bunch of white guys dressed up as Indians wearing um, sousaphones um, and marching down Taylor Street. Um, but this was a really important um, annual event through the 1910s up until 1920. Um, every year they had it, um, participation changed a bit, 
And then following that was the development of the, what we know more today as the um, uh, Pikes Peaker Bus Rodeo Parade, you know, which is still going strong today. And so I like the connection between you know what we know is this kind of rough and ready uh, ha cowboy hat and jeans wearing group of people who can date themselves back to that image right there of uh, Spencer Penrose being drawn in a uh, flower-covered carriage. So, <laughs> just a great connection. <laughs>